That looks mad. Hang on. So for today's video, we've decided we'll do a storage tour for you. Just talk through a few bits. What's in here? Yeah. And and also maybe what we're selling yeah, as well. Yeah, specific bits, just, and maybe what to expect in the future from us. Yeah, because we'll do an archive tour at some point. Of all the different Yeah, of like the different sections and things. So basically we've got two storage units. One is all the stuff that we've got listed, and then this one is sort of half, stuff we've got listed in half our archive. This is our mainly collection of Ralph Loren jumpers. We've got some wildlife ones, Aztec ones, Ski ones, patchwork, check, flags, miscellaneous. Got some Mambo shorts and Ralph trousers down at the bottom. Some Tommy Hilfiger knits. Some really, really good Ralph cords. Again, we're going to want to show you all this in the future. Some of our hats. Oh no, it's got squashed. <laughs> Up here, we have our archive of Ralph Lauren jackets really cool stuff in there and some miscellaneous stuff at the front and then we've got Ralph Lauren shirts a lot of Ralph Lauren <laughs> shirts we've got mm, this is Nike hell of a lot of Nike these are all Nike jackets Nike sweatshirts look at that mm. along here we've got Nike t-shirts ridiculous amount of really rare bits then along here we've got this is all Mambo along here, an Australian surf brand. Really, really cool stuff. This is Beth's collection of food promo, food and drink promo teams. Yeah, which we mentioned in, yeah. in the first video. Yeah. This is mainly then just rugby stuff because I love rugby league, played it all my life. And any rugby league stuff we've found, I've kept. I might go over it at some point. Ooh. Nice. And then that's just a box of kids stuff that oh, we've yeah. recently started collecting, haven't we? Yeah. Look at the size of I those. Know, they're so cute. Look at that kids' car heart jacket. We'll yeah. go through it all at some point. It'll make a really cool video. Yeah. Like our plan is just to do. Yeah, that's the main thing. <laughs> our plan is to split the archive up into categories, isn't it? And yeah, then definitely. Do videos you. on each category. Bite-sized chunks. And then we're on to stuff that we have listed. So these are all puffer jackets which aren't going to sell very well this time of year, but they'll come good in the winter. There's one box here, really. A couple of rare off the end ones. And there's a ski one. And then we've got... This is all Ralph Lauren jackets. On the, bot on the top we've got navy and blue ones. Some green ones at the back here. And at the bottom, more Ralph Lauren jackets, just different colours. Along here, we've got all our t-shirts that are for sale. The top, we've got Ralph Lauren corduroy. All of this is Ralph Lauren. And then we've got Patagonia fleeces there. Hoop Heroes. Backpack, cap. And we have actually got the shorts as well, which we can't hang up, but the shorts are down there. Again, another thing that we'll go through at some point. We've got a massive collection of Hoop Heroes. We like to hang up a few bits of stuff that we really, really enjoy or stuff that means a lot to us as well. We did have it all the way around before we got more and more bits of racking. This one up here is a piece with a bit of history actually. It was worn in a 1997 film called Welcome to Sarajevo with uh, Woody Harrelson in it. And I've actually, there's, there's some pictures that we found on Google of it actually been worn in the film which I'm sure Beth will be able to put in. It is a ridiculous piece of clothing. You can sort of see all the wear on it. And all the, the rusting. And that fading at the top. Look. Yeah, and the fading up there. It's really cool to have a piece that was actually worn. So if you look at the tag as well, it's all made in USA. It's really cool to have a piece that was actually worn. And the worn patch underneath, the that's the... Um... Oh yeah, that's the company it was from. Yeah which is how we originally found out that it was in the film, wasn't it? Yeah, and then we went looking at it and I asked yeah. the person who we bought it from the history of it, and that's why, how we found out. This is another amazing piece. We got this for a silly, ridiculously cheap price. It was £25. 
for the other tag, double RL. When I did a bit of research on it, the retail on it was about three thousand pounds. It's an absolutely just. I mean, look at all those tassels. Buttons have buffaloes on as well, I think. Don't they? Yeah. Can't really see that that no. much. But to get that for for twenty five pounds is just absolutely ridiculous. I mean, if we were looking to sell it, I think you'd get probably a thousand, one thousand five hundred pounds. But mm. we sort of it was one of the sort of the first things we sort of found that, and so we sort of don't want to get rid of it. Do we? No. Yeah. Maybe we'll at some point. Yeah, it's amazing. We like to think it would sort of piece of clothing that we use in a film like. I could imagine it on Brad Pitt in mm. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood or something like that. Yeah. See another one from the archive. This sort of helped kick off our love of Ralph Lauren. This is again double RL. If you want to come in and show the tag. Made in USA. Old double RL. An Aztec. Flannel shirt with a, an amazing interior. Mm. Got this. I think I found this for £20 online. And again, it just sort of. We got it and we're like, we don't want to sell that. So we just decided, well, let's just keep it and start building some stuff up. And then yeah. we've ended up with all this. <laughs> we did a Ralph Lauren photo shoot like a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. We? And yeah, we you, used this piece. You put the pictures in that, can't you? Yeah. yeah. And it does, it looks amazing. Sort of means a lot to us. And I don't think, I don't see it being something we'll sell anytime in the near future. It has friends. So many Aztecs. Aztec friends. <laughs> Ooh. There you go. That's what's to come. <laughs> We've got a few bits in here that are a bit miscellaneous that don't really fit in any of our things, but we don't want to go with This was gifted to us by Thrift Motel. Wallace and Gromit t shirt. <laughs> it's so and good. And we love Wallace and Gromit. You own. I'm actually wearing it today. Oh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> you own two or three Wallace and Gromit t shirts. Yeah. Very cool. I'm on the camera now. Yeah, I know. Speaking of the what is in comic t shirt. Speak of the devil. Yes. It's very apt for me, isn't it? Yep. I do love a cup of tea. Oh, yeah. 1989. And I do I love the back print as well. Yeah, there you go. The colours on it are just nice, aren't they? Yeah, this was a Christmas present from Lewis. Isn't he such a nice person? <laughs> Penned it myself. Yeah, it was too long, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. But I actually committed to doing single stitch as well. I've hand oh. sewn all of that. Hand sewn single so it stitch. Matches the Please. Yeah. <laughs> That's the good shit. <laughs> this is our second unit that's full of, all full of listed stuff. Up here we've got long sleeve shirts, leather wool rich. And down here we've got sports stuff, short sleeve shirts, these are shorts. We've got loads of sweatshirts and hoodies. Loads of hoodies keep coming down here. Then we're going to sports jackets. Then we're going to all other branded jackets, a load of engineered garments. Very contemporary brands. Yeah, Edwin, Lacoste, Paul, Paul Smith, Smith, Woolrich. And this is all stuff that we've not listed yet, this bit's down here. These are bo this few boxes of Levi's jeans, and again down here, boxes of Levi's jeans and Edwin jeans. We've got a full rail of Ralph Rugby's here. A hell of a lot. They always are getting replenished constantly because we sell so many of them. Looks quite cool, actually. Up here we've got Ralph pattern shirts going into Ralph denim and corduroy, into striped, into double RL, into Aztec, Ralph Aztec, into Ralph linen, into Ralph <laughs> viscose, holiday, summer Hawaiian, vibes. summer shirts, and absolutely ridiculous aren't they? We've got some Paul Smith at the front. Then we've got Jeans, think these are all slow jeans here. Then we've got more Levi's up at the top. These piles are all Ralph Lauren cargo trousers. Paratrooper style. We've got just diesel jeans on the bottom of the bits and mats. And then this whole two here, they're pretty much all Ralph Lauren knits. These are all fair aisle up here. They're absolutely beautiful patterns. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. We've got Aztec jumpers, uh, more fair aisle. Striped, these are all fair owl vests, these sorts of things. Lovely. And then we've got more Ralph knits. 
load of linen shirts in bags. And there's miscellaneous bits and bats all up in these boxes, but that's the main stuff. I might show you a few bits that we've got for sale, maybe. This is a Stone Island jacket from, oh, I'm gonna have to test my memory, it might be 1984. There might be a few pictures of me wearing it as well. Mm. I ever do have worn this in the past. I can't believe this hasn't sold yet, to be honest. No, it's amazing. This is an all this patchwork shirt. You can come up close, you can see every single one is cut and sewn together. Really lovely shirt. I love the colours on that. Yeah. It reminds me of, uh, did you ever read that Elmer? The kids book. It reminds me of that. Elmer there. I think it's Elmer the elephant. I'm gonna put a picture in. Yeah. That's what I think of when we I look at this shirt. We do actually have this shirt in our archive. Yeah, we're well. keeping we've, one, we've got we? one that we've kept, but I'm surprised this hasn't sold. Oh, this is a really nice brand that has a, does a lot of work wear. This is from a brand me and Beth both absolutely love, Story MFG. We own loads of it in our wardrobe. This is a climber rugby. It's been modeled off the old vintage Patagonia rugby's. Very nice. We do sell quite a bit of Nike as well. And this is a really old one, an 80s one, made in Portugal, blue tag. A really nice spell out on it. We haven't actually spoken about the Nike that you're wearing. You have got some Nike on. Oh, yes, I've got some. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jordan. Rare. Jordan, I have this in two colourways. Probably flash the photo up on Instagram. <laughs> I don't know why I put my hands up to do that when I'm showing stuff, but yeah, really nice. Yeah, it's good. Very rare, hard to find. Um, it's a Levi's jacket from the LVC line, which I spoke about in the previous video. What you see is when Levi's reproduce old pieces of clothing, pretty much thread for thread. It's fully yeah. shirtful. I love this because it makes me think of the IKEA monkey. <laughs> monkey! Monkey! <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice contemporary neighbourhood. Neighbourhood? Yes, neighbourhood. Yeah. I do have Are they that. Japanese? I can't yeah, remember. Yeah, Japanese, yeah. Very nice details there. Yeah, just another classic military. Yeah, I'd love to sell this sort of stuff. Tour jacket. We've got. Got an engineered garment smock that does not want to stay on its hanger. No, it's got a boat neck, hasn't it? Yeah, a boat neck. Very in at the minute. Smocks. The pockets on this are great. Yeah, they are, they are with a sideways. Mm. Engineered garments is a brand we sell a hell of a lot of great contemporary brand. It's a really cool piece we found at car boot. It's a Timberland weather gear gilet from the 90s and then somebody on the back has put their own Harley Davidson patch on it. We've had this for a while I can't believe it's not sold. No, We've got a load of Harley amazing. Davidson stuff at a car boot. Yeah we did. Maybe was it 15 jackets something like that? Yeah. A lot of stuff anyway and they're pretty much all sold except this. Don't. Well, it's actually quite funny. I was fighting for my life getting all the Harley Davidson stuff. Were, wasn't I? I was chilling over at a different It was at a, um, what do you call them? House clearance. House clearance. And he just suddenly dumped a load of Harley Davidson stuff. And honestly, it was like 50 people just swooped in. And I was chilling. And Lewis out. was yeah. just completely oblivious. I don't know how I managed to come away with as much as I did. Sportsman, Ralph Lauren, rugby, colour blocking. A nice mallard. Embroidery. Yeah, definitely. I want to see the patches at the oh, yes. bottom left there as well. Oh, that's nice. The sort of style of rugby's we like, we like to keep these in our archive. We might even have this in our archive. Rod is for sale. About as good as you're going to get for a Ralph rugby, in my opinion. Ralph Lauren is famous for its Aztec Western patterns. We like, we like to sell shirts whenever we can get them. They sell really well. I can see why, really. It's a stunning piece of clothing. We sell a lot of Paul Smith. It's a really strong brand in the UK. We like to sell the crazy print shirts. No Fielding loves these. If you walk to Bake Off, you'll know that. Oh, never mind the Buscocks. Crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. There's vintage Paul Smith as well. That. This is something we sell shed loads of in the winter. Ralph Lauren Fair Owl Knits. 
we get a hell of a lot of them in. Can I show you a few? This one's really nice. These colours are amazing. Really soft material as well. Mm. It's a double RL one. Fair RL. Actually, I can't believe that this hasn't sold. Yeah. I suppose it's too warm though. I'll let people off. It is summer. Thinking about the wool and casserole, this one as well. Mm. This is an example of the sort of thing that I don't think you can, on the internet through pictures, I don't think you can get over how nice a piece of clothing is. This has got an unbelievable sort of star pattern in it. That you can't really see. And I mean, you might be able to tell on just how chunky mm. and high quality it is. You can't really get that through selling on the internet. That's the only thing that sometimes disappoints me. Last thing I'm going to show you, um, I used to have a Lacoste, embroidered Lacoste collection. We've sold quite a few of them, but I thought I'd show you the leftovers. This is a horse riding one. Go on. Camille, Camille Lacoste. I'm showing you the embroidery as well. Nice. The golf one. And then the matching jumper. Can't buy stuff like this new anymore. The, the material, it's not like a sweatshirt material, is it? It's almost like a cross between polo material. Yeah. It's nice. This is amazing. They did have this in two different colorways. I think we sold the other one. Yep. Great stuff. So that was a quick tour of our two storage units. In the future, we'd like to, oh, not like to, we are going to show you all this. There's a lot to show off, so there's going to be a lot of videos. If you want to see more of that, please subscribe. And I hope you enjoyed this quick talk. Bye. Bye. <laughs>